Hello Scorpios, uh, welcome to your reading. I just wanted to do a quick reading because I don't know why, I don't know if you're feeling like this or not, but I got this really strong urge I needed to do a real uh, a reading for you. Um, I don't know who needs to hear this, but I just felt like I need to come say something that shows the cards of whatever is coming dealing with you. So, whoever this is for, Scorpio, just um, kind of hold on, okay? So, I don't know why, but I felt like I just had this message from the angels that needs to tell you something that has been bothering you. Something that you just, I feel like you just are just, I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a sense of... You need this energy that's inside you to be released. Um, you've been asking for the angels to take this this person who has hurt you. You want them out of your mind, out of your heart is what I'm hearing. So let me see. You just want this to be overdone with and not be thought about it anymore. But anyway, Scorpio, let's get into this reading. So whoever this is for, if it's not for you, please just ignore the reading. But, um, but let's see what happens, okay? So, angel, guys, and spirits, this card is of thank you for guiding me in all directions of this reading. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, show the cards that they need to see, please. Universe, Heaven, and Fathers, and Ancestors, show the cards that they got this card reading. Show me what they need to see. Show me what they need to see. Show me what they need to see. Show me the cards, please. Show me what they need to see. Show me what they need to see. Show me what they need to see. Okay. All right, Scorpio. Let me get one more shuffle. One more card, please. Clear up like that. Perfect. Okay, give me two cards. Scorpio, you have the energy here, Scorpio, with the Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is talking about your person is like losing their mind. They are, they can't get past this, what they have done to you. They cannot get past the energy. I know you're holding on to this energy, Scorpio, but this is this is them. It's inside your stomach, like in your abdomen area, and it just feels you like almost like a like a bucket of water. It just fills up in you, and it's very intense. Um, with the Seven of Swords, this person knows what they have done to you. They know what they. The lies and the behavior of this Seven of Swords. They know all the tricks they played on you. They know all the deceptions. They know that what they have done to you is you as the Queen of Pentacles. You didn't deserve this, Scorpio, by the way. The Emperor and this breakup came... And with this emperor, you you lost your feelings in this person. You you gave them everything. You gave them everything that they possibly could want. The harvest in reverse. And with that harvest and the emperor, I feel like this was like a someone intervened into this relationship to make it not work. It could have been another woman. Another man that came into this and did not give the blessings to the emperor. This person that was in a high front position did not bless them with your, your relationship. They didn't agree with it. They were against it. Could have been a mother or father. Could have been another best friend, a co-worker, somebody they were very close to, an aunt, an uncle. They influence this emperor to break up with you. This emperor took the decision to break up. 
because they knew the truth would, would come out and they broke up with you with this influence. The King of Swords here is in the reverse. This person, your ex person, wants to talk to you. They want to come and have a conversation with you, but they're they're feeling you know, Scorpio. You know. The universe has told you what this person was doing. Now, this person was getting on the, away with it for a while. But you finally, you found out that the relationship ended to the King of Swords. Now, they want to talk. And now, they want to... Why is this King... This star card here? This is Wish Fulfillment. You're their everything to them. That's what I'm getting. Oh. Show me with the four of swords. They want to make this right. The star card is here. Is evident that you're a very good person, they say. You're a beautiful person. You didn't deserve to be hurt. They know that. You're not speaking because of the hurt. And they're taking, you both are taking a time out away from each other. And the only thing they want to do here is, is to come back to the Queen of Pentacles to justify what they did was wrong. They are in their own thoughts about you. They know what they have done to destroy something beautiful with you here with the star card. When they had everything from you, Scorpio, I said that at the beginning, they had everything with you. And now they're trying to figure out what they need to do to win you back with the King of Pentacles, to grow this back and stabilize it. Because the King of Pentacles is about someone who has money, wealthy, or tried, and they're putting their career here first. But they made the wrong decision with you. Could have been... And you're both se separated. What is this King of Pentacles here for? Because this person wants to tell Scorpio. What is their answer to Scorpio? They're unstable. They were being someone they were not. They may have had a nice car, gave gifts, wore nice clothing, but they're unstable. They don't, they like, they're trying to make it work, but this situation with you has unstabilized them. And why is that so, angels, God, and spirits? Why is that four of wands in reverse? Why is this unstable? Because this ending shouldn't have happened. Like I said, they were trying to get away with things in the beginning, but it all came to light and the truth. Now they broke break up. They know you're not speaking to them. They know that you're very upset with them. Actually angry. You're just... This relationship here has not ended, Scorpio, as much as you think it has. Or should I say situational ship? ship. Because it does not look like this was, you thought it was a relationship and putting everything in it, but this was not a true relationship, what you think a relationship should look like. But this has not ended. The world card is not, has stopped. The time has stopped. You have stopped this. You have put a stop to this. You may have ended this, Scorpio. Page of Swords. Queen of Cups. The Reverse. Six of Cups. Show me what the Six of Cups is here for. Connected with the Four of Wands. I'm going to call that Reverse. They 
I don't want to make this worse. They're, they are very... They're very in their emotions, but they're not... They're, they're trying to figure out things with you. They are watching you even when they you think they're not. They're looking at pictures of you. Page of Cups in reverse. Wonder, they think you have changed your Scorpio. They could feel that you have pulled your energy back and you're no longer want to deal with them. But the Six of Cups, they are starting to feel that they have really lost you this time. After the cycle of three to four or five times. They went out trying to find people to replace you to distract them, but they could not replace you here. They keep thinking about you. Page of Wands. Messenger. But they have the Page of Swords. They're watching you, but they're not talking to you. They're, not, they're scared to reach out to you with this... Also here with the five of wands in reverse. They're trying not to show emotions. Clarify the page of wands. Clarify the page of wands. They see you as the nine of pentacles. They see that you have everything that they could possibly want. They could see that you're the person who is on their mind, someone who is beautiful, someone's handsome, someone who's got it all. Now they're starting to feel like you're valued. They're starting to value you here, Scorpio, because you put your foot down. Or you put the, your foot up their butt, <laughs> however you want to say it. You know my meaning, but they are thinking you were just, you had everything and they had everything with you and they lost it. But they're scared to reach out. You have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. They mess with the wrong person. I get the feeling that this person was with someone who... You know, the, yeah, the Seven of Wands in reverse. They don't want to argue this. And they don't want to move forward. You get them... They know that you're... You're just... You're just... You don't want them. <laughs> That's the feeling. It feels like you just don't want them. And they're still, it's still thinking. They know they don't have a chance to come back to you. And now they're starting to realize what it feels like to be without you. Even if it's been months or years. Let me get another deck. I just want to cl clarify. If you have not seen my other videos, you'll understand why this reading is here. So let's look. Angel, guides, and spirits, on these cards, please show me the outcome from Scorpio. What does Scorpio's person want to do? 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 Five of five of ones. Show me that. King of Cups in reverse. There's a four of swords. Show me Scorpio. Wow. Okay. Oh, you're very mad. You're just like I don't want you. Okay, I felt that energy. I'm getting away from you. I'm gonna read the cards as I feel it. Okay. So here, I had you have, you know, I had enough of you. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Just get out of my way. This is your attitude towards them. They know you don't love, that you feel like they're losing, they're losing you. You're like, you know, you brought this pain and hurt to me. And now I'm the one who has to suffer the pain. And I'm the one who has to fix it they, for because of you. I know the truth of what you did. I saw the red flags. Even though you were telling me how much you loved me, how much you missed me, how much you wanted to be with me. But they, I couldn't speak to you. I couldn't talk to you. And you ignored me. And I felt the presence of someone else around you. 
So I decided to stop talking to you and protect myself and my heart and my love. I, I'm blocking you. You are no longer welcome in my life. I'm getting out of this mess. This situation that you put me in. I really trusted you. But y'all, all you think you did was bring me drama and hurt and suffering. Made me cry. What type of love is that at you rest? Temperance. I had patience for you, but I no longer have any more patience for you. What you did to me was hurtful. And I had to do everything to get myself back up because of you. Because of the love and the passion I gave you. I am going to find my peace. I'm going to find myself. And when I do, you're no longer welcome in my heart. I'm not going to move forward with you and I'm not waiting on you. I'm choosing my own life. You will not be in my life. Sometimes we have to let people go that enjoy that enjoys hurting other people. We must have to let them go. Okay, tell me what Scorpio's person wants to say. This is from your person, Scorpio. I don't know how you found out of the things I was doing to you. I know that you are very strong in your feelings. I know I have to be quiet because I know what I did was wrong. The reason I ignored you was because I truly loved you, but at this time I can't be with you because of everything that situations and all the things that I did, I didn't mean to hurt you. The reason I can't apologize or bring anything offered to you is because I know I don't deserve, you don't, I don't deserve to hear your voice. You are a beautiful person that I hurt. So right now at this moment, I'm staying away because I have nothing to offer, be able to give you that's going to make this better. What I did to you was not fair. It was wrong. If I can go back in time, I would try to make this better. When I met you, I didn't know I was going to love you this much. I know I have issues. I know I made you unhappy, but I know I lied to you and didn't get bring the truth to you. But Scorpio, now I carry all the things I have done to you on myself and my responsibility to fix it. I hope someday you can forgive me for what I have done. Because you are a beautiful person. I saw that in you. When I first met you, I knew you were different. I know you were special because you have a beautiful sunlight in your heart and in your eyes. The only people that can see you for who you are can believe it. But now I know everything I saw in you was beautiful. And I have never had any feelings like this for no one. I hope someday I can make it up to you for what I've done wrong. I hope I can come back and you and we could at least talk about it. But I know right now is not a good time to fix this, but I hope I do. Thank you, Scorpio. I could I will never forget and I do have you in my heart. One more card. The secret is I have never loved anyone more than I have you. 
I did betray you. I did hurt you. And I did lie. But I have to carry those lies that I did to a beautiful person like you. I will have to deal with that. I will have to suffer the consequences of that. Because since I met you and, and you said goodbye to me, there's something I could not face to do. That is not the truth I want to see. I just hope one day you forgive me. But it's not your fault, Scorpio. Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Thank you for listening.